Hey guys, this is Sid from PlaySotus.com and today I'll be showing you how to connect to our Mumble server and set up some basic functions. So first, after you install Mumble, you will be presented with this screen uh, called Mumble Server Connect. And now what we're going to do is just we're just going to hit Add New, and uh, serving it can be whatever you want. I'm just going to make it the official Sotus Mumble. Um, address is just PlaySotus.com, easy to remember, and the port is six four seven three eight. This should be the default, and username can be whatever you want. So okay, make sure everything is just uh, in order there, else it won't work. And um, then hit connect or hit OK. Now, uh, when you hit connect, you might see a box that says to accept a certificate. Just hit yes, and then the password uh, is on the forums. I'm not going to say it here. Uh, the link to it is on the front page of the website. Um, so it should be pretty easy to find. Just so, just hit connect, and then you should be put into the um, Mumble server. And as you can see, it looks a lot like Vent, but there are a few things that are different. <coughs> right when you install it, um, your voice will actually be uh, voice activated and not push to talk. So we're going to need to change that because um, an open mic can be very annoying. So we're just going to go here to transmit, and you'll notice that I have a lot more um, options than you. That's because I have this little advanced box checked. I'm just going to go to transmit and then hit um, push to talk. And um, change that from voice security to push talk. And then after that, we're going to go to shortcuts. And then uh, under function, uh, we're going to add one, hit add, and then uh, make a push to talk. And then uh, let me remove this. Okay. And then if you click right under shortcut, then it should say press shortcut. Now you can just press whatever key you want to bind it to. I'm choosing mouse button 4. And that's basically it. Now, if you want to make it so that um, every time you use your push to talk key, um, it actually like plays a sound, you just go here to audio input, make sure you have advanced checked, and then go to PTT audio cue. Now, what this will do is, as I said there, audible audio cue when the push to talk is activated or deactivated. The default mumble one is very, very annoying, so if you have Intrillo installed, you can just um, do what I did here, and if you... Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Just hit browse, then go to C, program files, or wherever you have Ventrilo installed, and then Ventrilo. And you should be presented with a list of WAV files. So for the first one, we're just going to do my key down. Then for the second one, we're just going to do a C, program files, Ventrilo, and then my key up. And then you should be able to um, uh, hear whenever you click push talk. So that's basically it for the um, required features. Now, optional, um, one of my favorite features of Mumble is uh, the overlay. It's very customizable. Uh, so first thing you're going to need to do is obviously check this box, Enable Overlay. And um, the second one, if the channel gets really crowded you pro and you have a small monitor, you probably want to show only the people talking. But I'm going to show everyone since I have a rather large monitor. And um, these sliders tell, you, tell uh, Mumble where to position the overlay on the screen. I've dragged mine all the way to the top and all the way to the right, so that'll basically put it in the top right of my screen. And um, then you can just drag it back and forth wherever you want. You can change the font, change the height. Uh, personally, for my monitor size, I like 2.0 percent, and uh, font is Tahoma. You can also change all the colors here. And um, yeah, that should be it. So hope you enjoy using the Mumble server. Um, it takes a while to get used to, and you know you have comments. For now, we've allowed. Um, HTML in our comments uh, that might be subject to change, but yeah, I hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, one more thing: if you want to change the interface so that the chat appears on the bottom, uh, just go to Configure Settings, and then go to User Interface and change it to Stacked. Uh, I mean, it's personal preference, really, and then just hit Apply. Okay, and yeah, it should be on the bottom, and that's it.